Here's another story put out by the Free Thought Project. I really have to do this story again for some reason. I know a lot of people probably can't take it. I can hardly, barely take it, but it's like nobody's knowing about this, I think, for some reason. But the Free Thought Project, if y'all get a chance to go to their page, that's uh, who puts this out. They keep an eye. They got thousands of these guys. Cop guilty on multiple charges of repeatedly raping five-year-old girl will not go to jail. This is another case. Totally unacceptable. Something has to be done. We cannot continually allow monsters with badges to get away with not only raping children, murder, and all the other horrendous crimes that they commit. And they don't go to jail. They just retire with their pensions, their retirement. They go get jobs in the next counties. We, the people, must stop this. If we don't do something like the free project, freethoughtproject.com, who reports these over and over again, and nothing is ever done. It's the people that are allowing the police to get away with this. This has to be stopped. The police are not going to stop themselves. They're going to hide, cover up, pretend it didn't happen, act like it'll go away. One bad apple. The whole bushel's rotten. It's the problem in today's modern-day policing. They get away with murder rape, illegally arresting people, violating our civil rights. You can beat the charge. You won't beat the ride. What the lady out west say, we don't care about civil rights violations. We have insurance for that. Honolulu, Hawaii, for years the Free Thought Project has been reporting on case after case of police caught raping, molesting, abusing their victims. And all too often, the police are let go with little to no punishment. Many of these officers were caught sexually abusing children, only to be let loose on society after flexing their blue privilege. This is something the police are proud of, their blue privilege, protecting their child molesting. Unbelievable. They should be the ones standing up against it. Just because it's a cop doesn't make it you. You can still stand against another blue line thug. So this cop will avoid jail time altogether. Just like the one the other day. That was in Arkansas or Alabama. Pick a state. They're there. They're doing just this bad or worse all over the United States. And we the people are allowing this to happen. Now this disgraced officer, Teddy O. Van Lerberg, whatever, I don't even know, 45, flexed his blue line privilege this month when he reached a deal with prosecutors, guarantee he will not go to jail. How can a judge allow this to happen? Because a judge does not have to do what a prosecutor makes the deal with the person. He could do whatever he wants. He's the judge. If the judge allows this to happen, the prosecutor and the judge need to be instantly fired. They need to lose their job. They are not allowed to let this happen where I come from. I've watched cops get 125 years for child porn. This officer should get the death penalty. If anybody should get the death penalty... A monster like this should. Now, according to the documents, 2017, this guy Van Lerb, I don't even know how to say that name, I'm not even going to try, was indicted on multiple accounts of first and third degree sexual assault, 
According to the indictment, the abuse took place for years on victims, not just one, victims as young as five years old. All of the charges were Class A felonies carrying mandatory 20-year prison terms. He initially, this officer initially, pleaded not guilty, but he changed his plea to no contest earlier this month after re reaching a disgustingly lenient deal with prosecutors. The Hawaii News now points out felony sex assault charges usually carry long prison terms, but the 45-year-old only faces five years probation when he's sentenced in August. Despite facing over 100 years behind bars for all the charges, the seven major felony charges he faced were reduced to four Class B felonies punishable by up to 10 years in prison and three Class C felonies published by up to five years. And even all these lesser charges carried a multiple years behind bars, the prosecutors still let him off, essentially scot-free. He will have to register as a sex offender for life, something he's probably not too worried about considering he just escaped decades behind bars for raping a child. The lack of punishment for the rapist public servant was so... And I can't even say egregious, so... But anyhow, the Honolulu Department of the Prosecuting Attorney has stated that they will not even comment on it until after this baby raping cop is sentenced by a judge in August. If this judge lets this guy off, I don't care what deal the prosecutor made with him, the judge needs to be fired as well as the prosecutor. They said, uh, Spokesman Brooks Bear said, well, after the little media coverage his case receives dies off. Well, let's see if we can keep that media coverage going. Let's watch this judge and prosecutor in action in Hawaii who is going to allow a baby raping cop to get no jail time. Now, the Free Thought Project found a profile on Facebook which appears to belong to this baby-raping police officer. It shows that he has two small children, raising the question whether or not they were victims. Terrible indeed. Unfortunately, officer-involved sexual misconduct is all too common. Reality and the majority of it happens to children. Freethoughtproject.com These people are amazing. The research they do. Now read this bottom part. In one study over a single 2010 sample, the officers associated with reports of serious sexual misconduct, 51%, 180 were involved with reports that involved minors, 49%, 174 involved adults. And this baby molesting police officer gets no jail time. He essentially escaped accountability for preying on society's most vulnerable. Below are a few of the, these horrific cases which cops were convicted of sexual abuse and left off with a slap on the wrist. 2015, former Manatee County Sheriff's Lieutenant sentenced for a sadistic and sickening act against three children. Officer Dale Couch was arrested after the children told authorities what he had done, violently, sexually abused them. He was charged with two counts of lewd and lascivious molestation of a child under 12 years old and a third charge of lewd and lascivious molestation of a child 12 years against a 12-year-old. So I guess under 12 and 12 has something to do. Instead of being locked in a cage for the rest of his life, just like the Hawaii 
cop, baby molester. Couch flexed his blue line privilege and was given 12 months probation, no jail time. Just before Couch's trial, they reported on an officer the, who was caught multiple hard drives full of child porn. All charges were dropped. The Free Thought Project also reported on a case Officer Kristen Allen Carson, who orally forced himself onto a sleeping 7th grader and was giving only a 30-day sentence. This list goes on and on and on forever. Every day there's new ones that come out. Something has to be done. As long as they allow them to get probation, retire with their pensions, and not go to jail or even be arrested, this will never stop. The police don't care, except for to cover up everything that they do wrong. They don't want to look bad in the eye of the public. They're making themselves look bad by trying not to look bad. If they stood up against it and said, you know what, yeah, he was a cop, but he did wrong and we're going to fry his ass. Well, a lot of people might be afraid to be cops, but we don't need that kind of cop or the ones that are backing him up. They say, why do people say fuck the police? This is one of the reasons. Because you're backing up child molesters. You're not charging them like you would an everyday citizen. It shows that the police think they're above the law, and if one of them, anything they do, they can do no wrong. Because they were cops. No, this is totally unacceptable. I could probably make a video that goes on forever. Former state trooper, 36-year-old Samuel H. McHenry II, responded to a traffic accident in 2016. Instead of helping the victim, he threatened to take her to jail because he saw an empty pill bottle and a nasal spray bottle in her vehicle, neither of which are illegal. He then restrained the woman, threw her in the back of the cop car, drove to a secluded area, and raped her. Then he left her at a closed store, away from her car, and sped off. McHenry pleaded guilty. And, uh, of course, he was given measly 180-day sentence, 180 days of which he would never have to spend in jail, thanks to his blue line privilege. And we're back to the 2013 John Van Trump accused of sexually assaulting a girl younger than six years old. Since the girl was younger than six, his charges were considered a super crime. A former Florida police officer of the year admitted to forcing undocumented immigrants to having sex with him. Jonathan Blue Weiss, 34, pleaded guilty to an array of charges last year, admitting to 14 counts of armed false imprisonment, 15 counts of battery, and 4 counts of stalking. However, he conveniently avoided all of the charges with sex in them. Now, due to this police officer status, this former Broward County Sheriff's deputy was given an insultingly lenient plea deal. As part of that deal, he did not face charges of sexual battery. And, as such, he was not required by the state of Florida to register as a sex offender. Broward Public Defender Howard Finkelstein called the outcome shocking and shameful to the whole country. Now, the Sun Sentinel, they reported on another case where the same day as this cop gets his deal, Eric Beasley, 25, a former high school student teacher from Broward, was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Well, he didn't have the blue line around him. Both men obviously abused their positions of authority. Both men victimized teens, but only one of them did it to multiple victims. Only one of them carried a badge and a gun and throws people in prison for the same crimes he committed. And then only one of them was able to get 
special privileges. Now this article could go on hundreds of pages long. The fact that 1,000 policemen across the USA had their license revoked and lost their jobs over a six-year period due to sexual crimes while on duty. And this number is likely only a fraction of the actual cases that have occurred. After all, all this case and all the other cases show cops really don't have the incentive to stay out of jail for preying on others, which makes the entire system complicit in perpetrating and potentially covering it up. So, I think it's conspiracy. So, if any of them are involved, they should all be arrested for conspiracy, from the judge all the way down to the officer. The system, the Blue Line gang, they're in it together, and they're out of control. The police are only there to arrest people and victimize us. And that's modern day society, modern day policing. That's the new day and age. We the people have to stop this. We the people have to vote these people out. We the people must take our country back from these crooked, crooked people running the system from the judge prosecutor to the police officers if you're not following our laws standing up for our rights and the constitution you do not need to be doing the job you are pretending to do now this supposed police officer from Hawaii raped multiple people and he will not do one day in jail. This is the Blue Line gang working together. Go to the freethoughtproject.com These people will not give up. I will not give up. We must all stand up against what is going on, allowing the police to rape children and not go to jail because of their special blue line privilege. This must stop. This cannot be allowed in a modern day society just because you wear a badge and a gun. TheFreeThoughtProject.com Watch these guys. They're very good at what they do. And they will never stop.